So today I'll be reviewing Pokemon Journeys episode 86, Mega Evolution vs Gigantamax, and the title tells you everything you need to know, since this is the final part of the two part battle with Ash and V, with the debut of Mega Lucario. So jumping right into it, the battle starts where the last episode left off, with Lucario and Machamp colliding, and Lucario landing its reversal. After that, Ash brings out his third Pokemon, and I joked about him using Surfest in my predictions, saying that he would want to have a fighting type clash, and I also said that he would be smarter than that, unfortunately he did pull out Surfetch, which I saw coming but was still surprising. Even Go says he thought he would use Dragonite, which logically makes sense since it's part flying and would have been the best pick, but we've seen Ash use that plenty of times already, so I wasn't expecting that. So moving on, after that we see Leon who shushes the announcer, which was hilarious because he's basically telling him not to do his job. And then we see Surfetch battle Machamp and he forces it back, causing B to switch into Halucha. And Surfetch had a great back and forth with Halucha, but ultimately it was defeated in a night slash and sky attack collision which brings me to another point that i made in my predictions video i said that someone would have to be the jobber and i knew it would be ash's third pokemon and unfortunately it was Surfetch who worked extremely hard for its evolution, but I'll talk more about this later. So after Surfetch is defeated, Pikachu returns to battle Halucha, and Pikachu uses a technique where he digs his tail into the ground with Iron Tail, and combines that with a quick attack to help fend off Sky Attack, and in turn causes damage to Halucha. So after seeing this, B is impressed and asks Ash if he practices this, but Ash just says he does whatever comes to mind, which is even more impressive to B. And she also says that Pikachu is the most impressive for pulling it off, which I agree with since Ash came up with that on the fly, and Pikachu was able to execute it perfectly, which is a testament to their teamwork. After that, Pikachu lands one more strike on Halucha, taking it out, making this a 2v2. So B sends out Grapplock to battle Pikachu, and Pikachu was able to land an attack, but it wasn't able to do much damage after due to Octolock, so it was finished off by close combat. So now Ash is down to one Pokemon, Lucario, and I knew from my first video that Lucario would be the one to take these two on and B says that she won't settle for a draw and Ash thinks to himself that if this battle drags on Lucario won't have the strength to battle Machamp so he has to finish this in one blow which he and Lucario are able to do with Aura Sphere and I think this was a great moment for two reasons one Lucario's display of power and focus because of its connection with Ash and two because this was a milestone moment for the two of them since they were finally able to get past B's Graplog who Riolu lost and tied to before but this time he won convincingly and with Aura Spear, which perfectly represents the bond between the two so despite it only happening in one hit I still think this was well done. So now B only has one Pokemon remaining, making this a 1v1, and she sends out her Machamp, and Ash and B waste no time since Ash signals that he's ready to Mega Evolve, and B says that she can't recall the last time a battle made her this excited, and says that Ash is a worthy opponent, and says that his skills are worthy of respect, and she Gigantamaxes her Machamp, and I like how the announcer calls it a Galarian battle, and we see Leon say now it's your turn, and then we get the legendary moment that we've been waiting two generations for, Ash using Mega Evolution as he Mega Evolves his Lucario, which was pretty great to see. So now our Gigantamax vs Mega Evolution battle begins, with Lucario using Aura Spear and Machamp countering with Max Steel Strike. Then Lucario goes in for a Force Palm, and when he does you can see the massive difference in size between the two, and Machamp is able to land a Max Strike, but Lucario gets up and tries another Force Palm that actually pushes it back. And that's when B gets Machamp to increase its Dynamax power and says that she'll use Karate along with her partner, acting as one, and tells it to use Gigantamax Chi Strike, which Lucario is able to tank somehow, which I thought was weird since he barely countered, but I'm guessing the buff from Mega Evolution counters the G-Max attack. Then Lucario strikes back with Aura Spear, and after that happens, Machamp loses its Gigantamax form since they only last for three turns, but it keeps its enhanced power according to B. So Ash tells Lucario to rush in, and as that's happening, Lucario starts to gain some of its aura powers, and he and Ash become one. So then we get a class with Machamp using a Bullet Punch Barrage and Ash's Lucario using Force Palm. And as this is happening, Lucario's Force Palm turns into Steel Beam, which blasts right through Bullet Punch and lands a critical blow on Machamp, leading to its defeat, making Ash and Lucario the winners of the battle. And with this, Ash moves up to 36 in the World Championships, which is amazing since now he's only 28 places away from Master Class, which could potentially happen in one or two battles. After that, we see Leon and everyone clapping, and the announcer actually 
asks Leon what he thought of the battle, and he says he wishes he could have seen more, which I really hope translates into us getting more than a 3v3 next time. So later on, Go and Karina congratulate Ash, and Ash wonders why Leon left, and B says this is best since they should only meet on the battlefield. Then she tells Ash that her heart was racing during the battle, and that she won't throw away the towel, and says let's battle again. Ash wishes her finally acknowledging him, and she says that she Ash can just call her B, which shows how close and less formal they are. And that pretty much wraps up the episode. This was a pretty good episode with a nice conclusion to the battle, and likely Ash and B's final rival battle since they didn't really foreshadow a rematch, but instead talked about how they should meet and battle Leon on the battlefield. When it comes to the battle itself, it was exactly what I was expecting, a great back and forth battle. Unfortunately, Sir Fetch had to be the jobber and take the hit, but that really isn't a slight against it since it was done for two narrative purposes. One, to show off B's strength as a credible opponent and Ash's rival, and two, to make it so that Lucario had a reason to defeat and overcome Grappelock later on in the battle, which is something that needed to be done from a narrative perspective since this is the third and final battle between the two and Lucario tied and lost to Grapplock as a Riolu. The only other option would have been for Pikachu to lose against Halucha and to have Surfetch win, but one, Pikachu has the type advantage so that wasn't going to happen, and two, Pikachu was definitely going to get a win in this final rival battle. When it comes to Lucario, this was a great first Mega Evolution battle for it. We really got to see the bond between Ash and Lucario on full display as Lucario manifested its aura abilities, leading to them learning the strongest type steel move, Steel Beam. Overall, I really enjoyed the episode. It was nice to see Ash and B's rivalry with her acknowledging him at the end. So this episode gets an 8.5 out of 10 for me. I think this episode did a really good job from the narrative perspective and the art and animation was nice as well. With that being said, let me know who you think Ash's next hyper class battle should be against and what were your thoughts on this episode. That being said, thanks for watching and bye.